Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 388. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 387 to 393. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see conditional formatting with three criteria, true, true, true. I want to highlight an entire row. So I want to be able to select a uh, customer sales rep one, customer one, and product one, and highlight with conditional formatting. Ah, we've done other videos like that, but I want to talk about conditional formatting and the active cell. Now, in almost every video I've ever done, I always say, you got to select your range and be aware of the active cell when you're doing conditional formatting, which is true. I always do it from the top corner, but what if you go like this? Let's see, does that mean if the active cell is here, you have to build your true false formula from that cell's point of view? You betcha. Conditional formatting, home styles, conditional formatting, new rule. In uh, earlier versions, you go to uh, formatting menu, conditional formatting, or you use the keyboard shortcut, Alt. OD. I'm going to hit Alt N to click on that new button and then I'm going to hit my down arrow to get to use formula and then I'm going to hit tab. Now again most all the times we're doing it up here but wherever that active cell in fact that active cell could be right there as long as you build the, the formula from that point of view it'll work just fine. Now I want to highlight the whole row so I'm going to click on this uh, Criteria, the first one is sales rep. So I'm going to click on notice from this point of view, that cell needs to be looking at the sales rep there. And that needs to be locked, so I'll hit my F4 key twice across the row. So when it, this formula is being put in this cell and copied here. So it needs to be locked on S that, that particular sales rep for this whole row, but not when it moves up. I'm going to say when that's equal to, and I'm going to click on that one. Now, that's the first criteria true or false this is an and so that's one true or false comma the next true or false will be our customer right there so I'm going to say customer same thing F F4 F4 to lock it in front of the column reference so it's locked when we copy it across the column that will ask hey when that's equal to our customer that's locked in all directions those are two trues when those both come out true the and will say true but we have one more and finally it's going to be our product and I'm going to hit the F4 key uh, to lock the column reference but not the row when that's equal to our product locked in all direction close parentheses that's three with mixed cell references and we're building it from the point of view of that active cell. So I'm going to click Format. I'm going to say some fill like red font color because red is a dark value. I'm going to say light color for font. Click OK, click OK, click OK. Now let's hit the F9 key and see if we can get some matches. And there's one right there. Sure enough, it worked. SR1, Customer 1, Product 1, F9. OK, so that was uh, building conditional formatting true false formulas from the point of view of the active cell. All right, we'll see you next trick.